<laughs> I know you're so in love with the island. I definitely have a crush on Catalina. <laughs> Listen, I, I thought about it for a second, and we asked um, the taxi driver to take us to the airport um, yesterday saying, Did you, do you get island fever? And he goes, you know what, I love it here, but once every couple months I do go to Long Beach and just stretch out a little bit. So uh, I get it. But I am definitely in love with Catalina. And I got to tell you, the zip lining thing was so much fun. I want to say thank you to the crew. I think it was Sarah and Elena. I don't know if they're watching this morning, but man, Gus had the best time and he's hooked. He wants to go back like tomorrow. He said, <laughs> Mommy, why can't we go back? So yes, Catalina, thank you for all the love you gave us uh, this past holiday weekend. We can't wait to go back. It is summer officially. Love to bring in the summer solstice to you here early this morning. We marked it at, uh, wow, were you awake? I think Rick may have busted out his bottle of champagne because that's what he does. 2.13 in the morning to mark the start of the summer season here in the Northern Hemisphere. That means winter in the Southern Hemisphere. This is when we get the longest amount of daylight hours, so enjoy it while you can. It is also, by the way, hurricane season. There's none in the Atlantic to mention, but we do have one to mention here in the East Pacific. Do want to point out Tropical Storm Celia now with winds of 40 miles an hour, moving west away from mainland Mexico at 12 miles per hour. But look at some of the rain showers associated with this storm across the coast. It is going to strengthen over the next couple of days to a hurricane and then eventually weaken. But look at how close it is to Baja and it may enter our swell window. Just had a little talk with our other resident meteorologist, Rick, about that because he's also our resident surfer. I like to try to ride on your coattails, Rick, about the surfing stuff too. So <laughs> um, anyway, it will be slightly cooler today, but still pretty hot inland. 40% chance for some showers tomorrow with a 20% chance for thunderstorms. A little bit of instability rotating an area of uh, low pressure and upper level low that's going to be moving close to us. So that's going to bring us a chance for rain, which we want, but not the dry lightning part. It will be drier, less humid as we get into the end of the week and hopefully into the this upcoming weekend. Here's that uh, uh, upper level low that we're talking about as it moves south. Going to pull up some of that moisture and instability that's been primarily over the desert southwest and to our east. Otherwise, today, 4 o'clock, 103 in Fresno. Are you traveling there? 100 in Las Vegas, 80 in Salt Lake City, out towards San Francisco, 78 degrees, about 78 as well up there near Portland. So very pleasant conditions at 4 p.m. today. Day planner for San Bernardino, about 85. Oh, that's hot, 10 a.m. Uh, a lot of sunshine. It's going to feel uncomfortable for you in some areas here. 97, close to triple digits at 2 o'clock, cooling back down to 82 at 9 p.m. Not so cool. Uh, he's cool. Rick Dickert is in for Samada this week.